Now we are going to investigate a phenomenon called linear polarization using microwave. Its biggest advantage is that we can easily observe the actual structure of the equipment being used to manipulate the microwave due to its wavelength. The shape of the transmitter and receiver let us know the orientation of microwave they are generating or detecting. It will help us build a model to describe physical reality behind their behavior. First, we set up the transmitter and receiver for vertical microwave axis as indicated by white marks on them. The distance is adjusted to get full scale in the receiver. When the receiver is rotated by 45 degrees, the intensity drops by around 50%. When it's rotated further to 90 degrees, the intensity drops to zero. If we continue the rotation further, we can conclude that the receiver gets highest intensity when it is parallel to the oriented transmitter, and the intensity becomes zero when they are perpendicular to each other. The next experiment will be done by passing the microwave through a metal grating. For the start, both transmitter and receiver are set at vertical axis. When you put the grating horizontally, we see the receiver's display shows the same value as before. It drops to zero when the grating is placed vertically. Next, we start with the receiver oriented horizontally. It shows zero reading without the grating. It stays zero when the grating is placed horizontally as well as vertically. But the intensity increases as the grating is rotated at some angle and reaches maximum at around 45 degrees. While keeping the grating at 45 degrees, let's rotate the receiver. It seems that the receiver always reads highest intensity when it is perpendicular to the grating and reads zero when they are parallel to each other. In the next experiment, we rotate the transmitter at 45 degree. We can see the intensity reading in the receiver drops significantly. When the grating is placed horizontally, the reading drops a little bit further. The reading drops even further as we rotate the receiver to 45 degree, now parallel to the transmitter. It reaches zero when the receiver is aligned horizontally or parallel to the grating. It 
it is now clear that we get maximum reading when the reservoir is perpendicular to the axis of the metal grating and minimum reading when they are parallel to each other, regardless the orientation of the transmitter.